making his way to the blue corner, Alexander Akas. Alexander Rakas of Croatia, 26 years old, with a record of 10 and 5, coming in five stoppages by way of knockout. Represents the Crow Cop Squad Gym, and that just tells you just about everything you need to know about this kid. I mean, if he's training with Filipovic, you know that this kid has got a pedigree in striking. He's been undefeated since December of 2014 with six straight wins. His last three coming by way of KO. So many great fighters nowadays coming from Southern Europe, a very hotly developing area of the world. Alexander Raka certainly looks to be in great physical condition for this matchup. And it's got to be some kind of a of a mind trick or something also on your opponent, just knowing that you're going in there with somebody from the Crow Cop squad gym. Making his way to the red corner, Karam Ingezak. years old representing Team Alpha also on a hot streak coming into this fight as one his last four and in fact he's won eight out of his last nine so both guys coming in here with loads and loads of momentum and then Gizek, like the statue of David just chiseled out of granite and Gizek is a familiar face to Superior Fighting Championship. He's three and two in SFC. But he hasn't fought here since 2012, so he's had a little bit of a layoff. As far as his fights here in SFC, he has been a busy fighter, though. Who is going to be able to keep their winning ways going? And who's gonna have a little career setback? I think these two guys are very, very evenly matched up as far as uh, height and weight and reach and body type and fighting style. So it's just gonna come down to, you know, who wants it more and what happens once the bell rings.
the wing bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the SFC welterweight division. Introducing first, the man fighting out of the blue corner. He represents Crow Cap Team. His professional mixed martial arts record stands at 10 victories opposite five defeats. He stands 180 centimeters and weighed in at 77 kilograms. Fighting out of Croatia, Alexander Akas. His opponent fights out of the red corner. He represents Team Alpha. His record, 11 victories, opposite four defeats. He stands 182 centimeters and weighed in at 77 kilograms. Representing Turkey, Karim Ingezer. Your referee, Marco Brewerson. Come. You both know the rules. Listen to my commands. Protect yourself all times. Make it a good match. Shake hands. Step back to your corner. Very intense moment there as they met in center cage. And we are underway. Alexander Rakas trying to cut down the cage right off the bat. And Gizek testing the waters with that left jab, moving to his left. A push kick there. Rakas again trying to track him down as they engage. Rakas looks like he's just waiting for an opening to unload with that either left hand or left leg. There it is. There's the body kick. And another push kick by Ngizek. Rakas again, looking for the left leg. And Gizek, pawing out with the right. Still not completely uncorking. And Gizek in that traditional stance. Rakas in southpaw. Goes downstairs once again to the body. Both guys have got to be oozing with confidence here in this fight. There's the big left leg again. That thing is like swinging a baseball bat. We've got ourselves a little game of cat and mouse going on here. The game of human chess being played, the only difference is somebody's gonna end up getting knocked out rather than just getting their piece taken away. The other guy might walk out with the other guy's head. Now he's got him up against the cage as they engage at close range for the first time. And Gizek pressing him up against the fence. Referee warning about holding the fence. Battling up against the cage for position. And Gizek pressing his opponent up against there. Can see his flesh from my position going right through the holes in the fence. There's a good shot of it. A lot of pressure being put on. Knees inside. And Rakas 
firing back with punches. And we're back to where we started. Ducks under the punch and gets the takedown. Nice back heel trip to finish it off. And he ends up in the guard of the Croatian. Elbows, elbows really going in like a chisel. Well, he's almost managed to pass there in the side control, but got caught with the left leg and now is back in the guard. Remaining busy though on top, firing shots into the midsection. Knees trying to create some space and up kicks as well. I think both these guys would prefer to keep this thing vertical. Rakas looking to get up. But Ngizak fires away with a big right hand. He's trying to, trying to pass, but keeps getting caught in the guard. Rakas pushing forward, crawling with the knees. Time slipping away here in this opening round. He's got the right ankle. Almost got caught with a kick right there in the last second. Well, let's listen into the corner of Alexander Rakas. Let's take a look at what happened in round number one. It was a lot of, I think, respect being shown here between these two guys. As they both kept it standing up for a lot of the, the first half of the round, it did go down to the ground a couple of times. Round two is underway. And this is what I'm waiting for. I, I want to see these guys stand up and trade shots. As a fan, that's what you want to see. As the fighters, I don't know who wants more. It looks to me like Rakas would love to keep it that way. And Gizek may have other plans, although he is willing to engage, at least for the time being. I think Rakas prefers this situation. He, he feels more comfortable in there. He feels like he's in control. He feels like he's, he's doing things his way and he landed a left hand that jacked the jaw of Karim and Gizek. Up against the cage now. Right overhook for Rakas. Rakas now reaching with the right hand but finds nothing. Both guys with knees. I thought I heard his his teeth when he got when he got kneed like that. And now he just forces him to the ground. And Gizek again on top. This is where the majority of the grappling has been in this position.
Nice bird's eye view of this fight here in round number two. And Gizak firing away now. Back up, whoa, he almost caught him with a kick that time. And Rakas now, he's got that, he's very close now, he's within striking distance. Both guys, as you can see, feeling the pace of this fight. This is where it's gonna get interesting. That's a couple of very telling shots now that Rakas has landed in this round. Rakas looking for the elbows off the back. And Gizek now, not really as active as he has been. Rakas looking to push up the head and then land a quick little elbow. Oh, and there it was. That's the kind of elbow that can just open you right up. And Gizek continuing to stay active. Crawling with the legs. Rakas more than content at this particular moment to just stay on his back, look for little shots, little quick elbows. Rocking his hips. Again, looking for the short elbow. Now he gets some separation. And Gizek circling to his left, looking to maybe land in a side control. Instead, he settles for the guard. And we're right back where we were. And Gizek trying to get a little bit closer now, popping those hips up, trying to get within striking distance. And although Ngizek is on top here, well, there was a nice telling shot there. I was about to say that it was Rakas from this position who's actually landing more shots as he got kicked trying to get up there. Referee taking a real close look at Rakas. And Gizek now trying to slither his way in, but ends up in the guard once again. Coming up on 30 seconds and some change here in round number two. And for the most part, it's been Ngizek on top. I, as I said, though, I think Rakas has actually landed more shots, though, from the bottom. So it'll be interesting to see how the judges are going to score that. And Gizek still on top there. There's those chiseling elbows. Closing seconds, and that's how the round's going to end. here. Alexander Rakas with the blue tape landed a couple of big shots here. So far the most telling shots landed by Rakas in that second round. However, and Gizek did spend the majority of the round on top and that did work to his advantage. Third and final round underway here at Superior FC 17 from Duren, Germany. Very close fight so far. 
as both guys quite cautious here. Very respectful of their opponents as they trade body kicks. Wow, Rakas throwing some bombs in there. So far, neither guy has really been able to upset the other, throw them off of their game with any of those bombs. I'm waiting for one of those big shots to land here in round number three. Now it seems to be quite the opposite. For the majority of the stand-up, it was Rakas putting on the pressure and Angizek backing off. Now it looks like Angizek has come to play. Left high kick, but not nearly enough smoke behind that one as there has been. Body kick just a little bit out of range there, and I think that one was not out of range. In fact, it, it homed in right on the family jewels. Well, that, that might have been a knockout shot. Almost needs the ref there. To, well, can't say that I've really seen that before, but kind of an unorthodox maneuver. That must have been a punishing low blow there as Angizek wants to uh, make his apologies known. Rakas was on spaghetti legs after he first got that thing. He's all right. And this fight will continue, but he will not be the same. He got caught with a right hand. And Gizek now starting to feel a lot more comf comfortable in there, a little bit more confident, and putting a lot more pressure on. Big overhand left misses that time from Rakas. up against the cage. Rakas still game though. Firing away back with the left. I think he is uh, feeling the effects of that low blow. Man, that has got to be very, very painful for him. And we're back on top now with Angizek. Once again in the guard. Rakas fighting off of his back. This is a game that I think is going to work in the favor of Angizek. And he controls the fight for this long on top. And Rakas unable to really get out of this situation. I think that's going to work in Angizek's favor. Angizek standing up. Let's see if he goes in or not. And referee steps in. Looks like there's a little bit of blood underneath the right eye of Angizek. One minute left in the fight. Karim and Gizek on top. Alexander Rakas on the bottom. The ground game has been controlled by Ngizek throughout the fight. Rakas, it could be argued, has had more success standing up.
30 seconds now. Time slipping away here at Superior FC 17. Oh, big right hand just went off the, the side of the chest there. He tries to come down with a huge hammer fist, and that's the way it's going to wrap up. We'll see how this one ends up. Seems to me, as I've, I've said time and time again here, that you can look at Angizek and the time spent on the ground and how much time he spent on top. Rakas, not a whole lot done off of his back in one of the rounds. Maybe the second he was landing some short elbows. But uh, in my opinion, maybe just looked a little bit more sharp in the first two rounds with the striking. Maybe Angizek looking a little bit better standing up in the third. So the judges will now have to take all of that into consideration and we'll see what they come up with. Here's some action from that third and final round. Big right hand that lands that time from Angizek. Stand-up was looking a lot better as the fight went on for Ngizek. Well, cage announcer Mike Markham ready to give us the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by unanimous decision from the red corner, Karen Ingezer.